Hi, my name is Johan Falke, I'm in Stockholm, Sweden. This is a video introducing a module called Rules Pains, which was written today. Uh, it allows you to use rules components in panels or page manager or so. I'm going to show you how it works just now. If, if uh, uh, productivity can be measured in tea, cups of tea, by the way, I'm doing pretty well today because this is the third pot of tea I'm uh, having today. So that means more than three liters of tea for one day. Anyways, here is a website. I'm using it for course material management. Actually, this is just a scratch pad or something, but uh, I'm, I want to use it for managing course material. Uh, here's a user profile. Uh, I've introduced something called points here, uh, just uh, to make an example of how you can use this thing here. So let's see. This is now man This page is managed by Page Manager right now. I'm displaying the user profile through Page Manager, so it looks like the regular user page. Now here, uh, in rules, if you use rules, uh, you can create components, and I'm going to create a component here where I can use, say, let's have an, uh, an action set here, continue, and some points, I'm going to call this action, and I'm going to use this to, to uh, increase the number of points a user has. Let's call it account, account, continue, and action. Oh, let's actually, we need one more parameter here, and that's kind of the point, an integer points to add points, save changes, add an action, let's uh, calculate a value, the user, I have the account, uh, da, 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 da. field points, there it is, plus the points, uh, let's call this new points, points new, save, and then set the value. If you used rules before, this is not very uh, surprising. If you haven't used uh, used rules before, this is kind of uh, confusing. But let's uh, let me explain in a minute what I'm doing here. Okay, save. So I've created a, a rules component, an action set that uh, takes two. Uh, input data, one is a user account and one is a number of points to add and then it adds this number of points to this user account. Hup. Okay, uh, now this can be used manually, it can be used in views both operations. Let's actually see how this can be used, uh, used manually. Add some points, I can execute this manually from the rules configuration page and that's kind of useful. Uh, which uh, account, let's switch to direct input, number one, the root account, points to add, let's add 15 points. Let's say I right now have 22 points on my root account. Let's execute this. And now it's executed, let's see, I now have 37 points. That's kind of fun. Uh, but now look at this. This is kind of, well, this is what I've been building today. If I add content in my uh, pounds page here, add content, I have something called rules here. And here is add some points. Da, 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 da. Finish. Let's just see how this looks right now. Reload. Here's a placeholder title. It seems I should probably update some of the code I'm using. I could here use. Uh, Account, uh, type the same thing I did in the uh, manual execution of, of the uh, component before. Account number one, add say three points, execute, and that's it. But here's the cool thing if I go back here and change the settings, I can say the account. Let's tie this to a context I use on, in this uh, uh, page the user being viewed. Let's uh, override the title, add more points, execute, and I can add some help text and stuff. All very nice. Update and save. Go back here, and this account thing here should disappear when I reload. And it does. Add more points, points to add, two points more, execute, and there it is. This is just, uh, well, this is pretty awesome, I think. This is a very small example of what you can do. What I've been hoping to do is uh, is this. 
I have, when I manage course material, I have sources of exercises I, or tutorials and stuff. It can be like uh, custom things I write, it can be exercises, Khan Academy, it can be boring exercises from the math book, which is kind of useful, and YouTube stuff and whatnot. And then, if we go here, let's have a look at this math, mathematics book, math book. I have two exercises added here, and they all have like four digit numbers. And it's not very fun adding nodes, like 15 of them, if I want to add a lot of them at the same time. Uh, but now I can do this. Let's see. I have a, two rules components that work together, allowing me to add a list of exercises. So I can execute this, let's see, like this. I can add exercises names like one, two, three. And then I happen to know that the taxonomy term ID for this math book is one. So I can now execute this, have rules, create nodes in the background, set some sensible uh, start data. And if I reload this page here, I have not only these two I had before, but also this one, two, three thing. And all of these have some basic data and stuff set already. And you see this one here, that's the cool one. Uh, add multiple exercises. This is an empty page right now, but I can go into... Let's see, where am I? It's probably this one. Yeah, this is my page manager page uh, for this quick add uh, page here. Let's see, add content, rules add list of exercises, exercise names, no names, these, they should be manually inputted, source, let's use the source ID brought in by page manager here, add a multiple, well let's not have any extra title here, add exercises, and I can add some extra text here if I want to, as I mentioned before, okay let's see, quick add, reload here, Okay, exercise names, I can now add like four, five, six, and six, and seven. Add exercises. And that, then I should also probably have some like uh, redirect so I come back to this page here. But that can be arranged, of course, in, in, uh, uh, in rules. Yeah, and I could, could also include this as uh, a top um, uh, pane here and I can use visibility rules and things. So whenever I as a teacher view this uh, source I can just add 10 new exercises if I want to do. Just type in the name of them and hit enter and that's it. Kind of useful. Um, this um, uh, this module, Rules Paints, it recognizes the um, context, most of the contexts that uh, Ctools uses and uh, uh, converts them into the uh, data types that rules and entity, entity API uses. Um, back and forth a bit yeah, there. Um, this is a new project. If you think this uh, sounds really cool and you'd like to help, I'm looking for uh, co-maintainers. I'm seeking co-maintainers. I'm a math teacher now, not a Drupal developer, so I don't have very much time to spend on Drupal. But uh, I'd be really happy to have someone else helping me uh, taking this forward. It works right now. There are probably bugs there. Uh, and you might, well, stumble into uh, different problems and things. Uh, hopefully this could even be integrated into a bigger module later on. But let's take one step at a time. If you're interested, please uh, send me an email or something. And I'll be happy to add you as a co-maintainer if, if I think that's... Uh, suitable. Um, yeah, thanks for your time. Uh, see you some other time. Yeah.